Welcome to this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizullah. Joining me today is Dr. John Frederick de Groot from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Dr. de Groot is a professor and the interim chair of the Department of Neuro-Oncology. Dr. de Groot, what a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on biomarkers and as it relates to glioblastoma. Are there any particular biomarkers that can allow us to decide which therapies might work best in glioblastoma patients? So I think that's an excellent question. Biomarkers are are critically important and of course remain the holy grail in oncology where you can set up a, a tumor or blood-based biomarker that's actually going to predict outcome to a therapy. In glioblastoma we're unfortunately far behind the, the rest of, of oncology in terms of identifying specific biomarkers that are going to predict outcome. There's a lot of effort in this area and I think we're learning a lot from other solid tumor types about yes. how to, to try to develop those, those new agents. And so there's a there's a much greater focus now in some of the preclinical work before the agents ever get into the clinic to help to identify some of those biomarkers to, to further along the development of these compounds. And we certainly know that doing clinical trials in glioblastoma in all comers yes. have been negative. And so we definitely need to do something different. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on targeted therapies or even anti-angiogenic therapies in glioblastoma? Will we be seeing that in the future? I think targeted therapies definitely have a future. Again, it comes down to identifying the right tumor that's going to respond to, the, to a drug. And I think also we need to identify which agents we need to use in combination. Because again, as we talked about earlier, it's probably going to have to be a combination to overcome some of the resistance that occurs. Absolutely. Any other pearls of wisdom, perhaps, that you'd like to share on the precision medicine front in your oncology? I think the more work we do before the drugs get to the clinic, the, the higher the likelihood of success. And I think we also need to do really smart clinical trials where we actually look at the drug and its ability to penetrate into the brain, whether it's modulating the target within the tumor itself, before we go into large efficacy trials and spend a lot of time and many years um, and end up not understanding why the drug's not working. Excellent points. And I want to thank you so much for sharing your perspective, your pearls of wisdom, and your clinical expertise with us. It was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And to our viewers, thank you again for joining us for this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafazula, here today with Dr. John Frederick de Groot.